So I have some uh, probably uh, bad but uh, surely unexpected news for my conservative friends. Uh, the, according to LiveScience.com, now I know this is science, <laughs> so, uh, you know, and I don't, can't back it up with my Creationist Museum um, guidebook that I also have, but research finds that children with low intelligence are more likely to hold prejudiced attitudes as adults. Uh, low intelligence adults tend to gravitate toward socially conservative ideologies, the study found. Those ideologies in turn stress hierarchy and resistance to change attitudes that can contribute to prejudice. It is just a, a self-perpetuating cy uh, pe cycle. You're dumb. You grow up to be prejudiced and or conservative. And by nature of you being conservative, you become more prejudiced. I'm sorry, I'm just the messenger. But let me, um, let me explain this so that you as a conservative can understand. Because obviously science says that you're not smart. You are dumb. You are not smart. The things you believe in, you believe them because you're stupid. Can we write that phonetically underneath me? Polling data and social and political science research do show that prejudice is more common among, in those who hold right-wing ideals than those of other political uh, persuasions. Researchers turned to two studies of citizens in the United Kingdom. One has followed babies since their births in 1958, and another that did the same for babies born in April 1970. The children in the studies had their intelligence assessed at age 10 or 11. As adults, as age 30 or 33, their levels of social conservatism and racism were measured. In the first study, verbal and nonverbal intelligence was measured using tests that asked people to find similarities and differences between words, shapes, and symbols. So in other words, for my conservative friends, uh, there was a test, like a quiz, like, like it would ask you a bunch of questions. And it would have like, uh, like a magic marker and a pen. And it would say, how are these two things similar? Yes, yes, they're both um, long. And yes, I'm holding them both. But that, no, there's another way that they're similar that, that's really unique about these things. No, no, it's not that they both have colors because mostly everything has colors. No, what's one more thing? No, 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 uh, this is... A magic marker, it starts with an M. This is a pen, it starts with a P, almost. No, they both, they, but ink comes out, you can write with them. Sorry for that digression, folks. Sometimes we have to slow down <laughs> what we're doing for the people in the back of the class. <laughs> uh, the second study measured cognitive abilities in four ways. That's like thinking process. Um, and four, you know, you remember four. Uh, including number recall, that means like, can you remember numbers? Uh, shape drawing tasks. Four is the thing that comes after oops. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. One, two, oops, four. Uh, defining words and identifying patterns and similarities around, among uh, words. Um, Low intelligence in childhood corresponded with racism in adulthood, but the fact that it explained the relationship between these two variables was political. When researchers included social conservatism in the analysis, those ideologies accounted for much of the link between brains and bias. People with lower cognitive abilities also had uh, less contact with people of other races. Now, of course, uh, the researchers want to make it clear this does not mean that all conservatives are dumb 
and all liberals are smart. Uh, one of the um, researchers gave the example, we can definitively say men are taller than women on average, but you can't say if you take a random man and a random woman that the man is going to be taller. taller. There's plenty of overlap. So um, for those of you who are offended uh, because you're conservative out there and you're saying, I'm not dumb. I figured out how to use YouTube or turn on the, the radio or stream this, then you may be one of the exceptions uh, to your fellow ideologues. And so for you, I say congratulations. Uh, and you may run into a stupid liberal. Uh, and uh, that, of course, is the exception uh, to uh, their fellow ideologues. So, you know, hang in there. As an individual, you can always uh, supersede your limitations. And, um, you know, it's science. You don't believe in that anyway, so don't worry about it. <laughs>